Welcome to episode 32. It's like the Big Brother chat. Right, we've done it. 1,000 subscribers. The channel has now been monetized. I have applied for the program. It takes about a month to get a decision. And then I will start getting paid for adverts that are placed on my videos. I will let you know what sort of revenue it creates. Now, it's probably gonna be in the pounds, not even the tens of pounds, not even in the hundreds of pounds. But anyway, 1,000 subscribers, thank you very much. If you are new around here, please subscribe, and also please comment, because it helps the algorithm. Over 600, 600, just looking on screen now, my analytics, over 600,000 people have viewed our channel. I mean, that's incredible. If you put that, imagine standing in front of them people and them all looking at you. Uh, quite incredible, really. So, without further ado, let's get stuck into this week. It's time to chop the old truck in and get a new truck. So, hopefully get that this week. We've got a meeting in the office, so we'll see the crew. Let's go and see what's been happening in the world of A&D. Let's go. Management meeting, 101. Oh, Management yeah. meeting. We got, we got enough brandy for all the jobs we secured recently. What, they, um... That's the senior management meeting done. Time to show you my new whip. You're gonna like this. G-Wagon. Not really, that's not mine. Not there yet. Here it is. That's the wagon, that's the G-Wagon. It's what we use for weekends. Here's Here it is. Here's the new whip. It's my new truck. Ford Ranger. It's my Look, new truck. It's like, how small are you? Stand up, mate, so the YouTubers can see you. So, uh, Ford Ranger Storm Track. Very nice. I've got to say, in the corporate colours as well. And my favourite feature, which comes as standard, you can ignore the mess in the back. Uh, look. Look at this. Look. I mean, it's even got the soft close. Wait for it, wait for it. Oh, it slows down. Look at that. And that's it. But she's lovely. Picked her up today. Beautiful. Corporate colours. Need a little splash of white in it, I reckon. Might get changed these to white, but very nice. Just need to get my plate on it. I love my plate. Means a lot to me, my plate. Actually, my dad's plate. And that's it. There you go. Ford Storm Track, corporate colours. Always had black, now I've got red. It's got bigger wheels on this one as well. But yeah, just have a little look in the interior. I don't know what the beeping is. I don't know what goes on that, but the red stitching, Storm Track. Lovely. Very privileged, very grateful. Lovely bit of kit. So we're going to also upgrade Carl's Well, I just said to Smith, you know, he's going to order one, he goes, yeah, no problem. So you'll see me there in the morning. Right, I'll, I'll eight, put yeah? you in contact with the fellow who's done mine, mate, and yeah, we can yeah. get you upgraded yeah. get, and get you out of this. And why you got them stupid wheels on there? I mean, what's that all about? Rough terrain, isn't it? What? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So that's the new whip. Not the G-Wagon. One day. The G-Wagon is a stunning piece of engineering and it's probably the best car I've ever been in. Uh, but anyway, right, that's it for a wrap. Got to get home now. See you tomorrow. So, lads, the, the principle behind the Ardats is, so you start off with a red one in your first year, and now you're moving, obviously, September 6th, I think it is, is your first day back at college as a second year, right? So the orange Ardat is just to move you on up the, up the ladder, because obviously... The first years that are coming in, so Kaylin's going to be a, a first year in September the 13th. Yes, Kaylin. So, Kaylin, you're going to end up with a red art at. So, this is to differentiate between year ones, year twos, etc. And then, say, Jack, who's nearly at the end of his, will get, um, I don't know, a blue one or a, a black one, like a supervisor's. So, that's the principle behind it. So, you'll all be receiving an email from me shortly inviting you to the office for a review. 
uh, where we will be talking about hourly rates, how you're getting on, good, bad performances, look at the scores that we keep on you. Just go from there, lads. So well done on successfully completing your first year. On to the second year, and you, Kalen, you've got all this to come, mate. Your oh, no. tools, your tools have been ordered. Awesome. You're all set up, ready to go. You've been into Magic Touch, haven't you? Oh, yeah. So um, all of this clothing is provided by the awesome guys at Magic Touch. So well done, lads. Stick your orange ones on now. You have been officially moved on to level two now. So yeah, so you can discard your red Ardats now or keep them as a spare, um, as long as they're not damaged. And um, yeah, orange. We're implementing the traffic light system, so probably when actually when you complete, it makes sense to give you a green one, green to go. But well done, keep up the good work, and we look forward to you joining us, Caden. And you've already got wheels, mate. Are they, oh, is that yeah. your wheels over there? Oh, well I'm done, mate. My green hard hat when I finish. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So you passed your test already? Yeah. yeah. How old are you? Seventeen. Jesus oh, yeah. Christ! Yeah. I didn't pass till I was twenty-one. I only passed because I had a child on the way and I didn't want to get the bus home from the hospital. Yeah. Well done, boys. Keep it up. Harvey, the um, fade's looking strong, mate. All set. Where are you Alfie. going the weekend? Alfie. 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 Sorry, Alfie. I'll get confused. Reading Festival? Oh, my God. When are you back in? Uh, Wednesday. Wednesday. Oh, my word. You know you should work in the car wash with the Albanians. <laughs> <laughs> well done, lads. Keep it up, yeah? Newest recruit to the Empire who's come in to... Uh, have a brandy because we've won a couple of jobs recently. He's on a big salary, he's got big shoes to fill. I think he can do it. Welcome addition to the team, brings loads of experience and he's going to push us on to the next level. So let's introduce him. <laughs> Here he is. Hi. Say hello. So are you, are you old enough to have a brandy or not? Let's just say yeah. <laughs> That's what we do mate. When we have a when we win a new job, we have a brandy and we celebrate. Have you got a CSCS card? No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, that's what most of the Britlayers say to us. So, so don't worry. But do you want to be a Britlayer when you're older? Yeah, if I what? don't make it to be a footballer, yeah. If you don't make it to be a footballer, you can fall back on Britlayer. Yeah. Yeah? So welcome to the team, Liam. We'll get you a truck. We're just gonna have to get you some pedal extenders so you can reach. Yeah. But we'll get you a truck, mate. Um, what colour do you want? Red like yours. Red like mine's the best one, mate. Yeah. It? So welcome to the team. We look forward to working together, mate. And just remember, look, granddad's the boss. Right, I am just out of car. Drop the scaffold one lift down now, uh, ready for the painter to paint the open eaves. So they're gonna be stained uh, white, uh, so, they don't rot and it's obviously a feature so when you look up uh, you can see the open eaves so painter will be in this week uh, hopefully today and get them painted we had the stairs fitted yesterday and some of the stud work uh, to form the rooms uh, upstairs so we can give you a bit of an idea of the layout of them now and we've also put the ply linings in for the dry liner ready so he can uh, do his bit plumber lined up for his first fix uh, next week so we'll give you a bit of a grand tour have a look shall we so as you can see this will be the entrance so this will be your front door you come in and then your stairs are here stairs are all in lovely good fit a bit tight to get in but it should be done really well so then you come up the stairs and you have two bedrooms one here on the left and then more of the master bedroom here on the right and then you come up and this is your bathroom so we're going to have uh, the bathtub down here sink and basin toilet here decent sized uh, bathroom shower will be over the bath so this is uh, bed one quite nice decent sized window in there plenty of light and then this will be bed two. So your door will be here and you come in and you have, so this is your, this is your, your master bedroom if you like. So two windows in here. We're gonna have a little cupboard or little storage area in there for, on the bulkhead. Uh, so yeah, decent sized bedroom.
Yeah, plenty of light. So now the stairs are in, I can put a handrail up. So this this is key here, certain amount of distance needs to be maintained between walking down the stairs and here. So two meters is minimum. So then you would come downstairs into your kitchen. This is your kitchen area. So obviously kitchen window. Uh, we're gonna apply this wall here uh, to give a firm fixing into the wall. I know it's block work, but uh, by the time the plaster wall is dabbed out, there's a bit of a void. So we always apply, apply wherever the kitchen unit's going for a nice secure fixing. This here is actually a little like store cupboard in, in the kitchen area. I'll put an overlay there. Um, and then under under the stairs is actually a downstairs toilet, which is uh, kind of cool that we've managed to squeeze that in. This is being sort of the living room area, maybe uh, you've got your nice your nice bifolds going in there, and then you can have a little dining table set up in this area uh, with a nice window. Um, so yeah, these are the these are the linings in for the dry liner to work to as you can see they're all in so it's plot two Right, here we go, back on the uh, retaining wall uh, with the garden from last weekend. So ground workers have been in here and leveled some stuff up. Uh, made it a bit easier for us to be fair. So just myself, uh, my brother Carl, Giuseppe, uh, my other brothers playing golf in Spain. Uh, and then we've got Johnny whose house this is. So um, let's have a little look and see what we've got to tackle today. So Carl hasn't actually got a hangover today. Which is, um, I think it's the first weekend for a while, isn't it? The Johnny. It's the first weekend in about 10. Here's Big Johnny. Big Johnny's in charge of the muck. This is Johnny's gaff. So, ground workers have been in and they have shaped all this up for us. Put all the topsoil up there. All right, a little bit tricky to put for the brick on edge at this section, but on the whole, a lot easier. So, we've got to finish off this block work round here, uh, face it up brick on edge and then form the steps and then this is the patio area so we should get this done bank holiday weekend it's Carl's birthday so Carl's birthday is Sunday tomorrow uh, sorry should know my brother's birthday yeah. tomorrow happy birthday for tomorrow uh, but yeah let's get this done Giuseppe I mean it's just gone half seven he's not even here yet but anyway episode 32 Let's get the steps done. Enjoy the bank holiday. Anyone's life, I've really tried, I've really cried. Mumsy said it'll be alright. I'm a strong guy, but it takes its toll on my mind. I'm trying to find light in my grind. Music's therapy like some ecstasy helps me out from time to time. Broken homes, broken lives. Wouldn't wish it on anyone's life. I've really tried, I've really cried. Mumsy said it'll be alright. I'm a strong guy, but it takes its toll on my mind. I'm trying to find light in my grind. Music's therapy like some ecstasy helps me out from time to time. Music's my remedy, cell form therapy. I wanna grind to the day I die. No, no one's stopping me, I'll do it properly Honestly, B, I can tell if you're lying Mind tricks on snap, you're moving mad Had to grab my pen and tell her One red flag is one red card I'll send you off to go do better Go do better, I'm a better man Life's been tough, I got a better plan Start fresh, work harder for higher grants They all come back and the end this man Me and my team have a dream where we're all looking clean right. on the scene. I'm stage one complete uh, Lower level tier is all faced up uh, Brick on edge It's done down this bit Joe's just doing the middle steps and then we're gonna go up. We're gonna go up, run the brick on edge along this bit, same the other bit, and then across the top as well. Up there. And then um, should be home around 8, 8 30, I reckon. <laughs> and uh, and as for the muck today, and as for the ground workers, look basically made their uh, foundation work to the slab level and just stitched us right up. Um, yeah, been interesting. But anyway, um, the muck has got about 18 stones in every trowel full of muck, but we got over it now. And Giuseppe's topping his tan up. 
ready for Napoli on Monday or Tuesday. That's it. Bricks are quite nice today, but they're horrendous. Broken lives, wouldn't wish it on anyone's life. I really tried, I really cried. Mumsy said it will be alright. I'm a strong guy, but it takes its toll on my mind. I'm trying to find light in my grind. Music's therapy like some ecstasy helps me out from time to time. Broken homes, broken lives, wouldn't wish it on anyone's life. Yeah, it'll be alright. Yeah, it'll be alright. It'll be alright. Yeah. Nine bricks to lay, but we're clean out of bricks. So, I'll give you a little um, video of the walls. Uh, significant amount of work in here, but two packs of bricks just to, in today's shift. But um, anyway, let's have a look. But yeah, it's all done. Just over in that corner, we've got about nine bricks left to lay. Otherwise, that's it. Just the steps to form in here now. But that's our bit done. So, there's probably four or five packs of bricks six seven packs of blocks uh, otherwise it's done that's it so that's a wrap episode 32 thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe and i will see you next week when i will be in a sunnier climate hopefully um so i'll see you then